Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the FinFit design challenges, particularly corner effect. So let's start the video. Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss what is meant by corner effect in FinFit. So we know the planner CMOS and FinFit having a design wise, uh, it's a totally different kind of structure. So the designers are following to fabricate the FinFit devices. So in tr because of the 3D nature in the FinFit, so we have uh, facing lots of uh, effects and lots of design challenges with the FinFit devices. But the major problem of the FinFit is like a corner effect. So apart from this corner effect, so we have uh, multiple number of problems uh, is there with the FinFit uh, only based on the fabrication point of view. But uh, so we'll discuss everything one by one. So in this video, so we are going to discuss what is meant by corner effect. So corner effects uh, is a kind of leakage current. So wherever the active fins are there, active edges are there. So edges of the active areas. So we'll get some kind of leakage current. So that is generally called corner effects. So here we have a traditional planar MOSFET structure. So this is an internal cross-sectional view of the traditional planar MOSFET. And then this is our 3D FinFET model. So we know, right, uh, our traditional planar MOSFET. Uh, so we are not having a kind of fin what here they have. So, so here some fins are there. So this fins, right. So because of this fins, we are getting the corner effects uh, or in, in our planar MOSFET, right? So we don't have fin. So we are not facing too much of corner effect with the planar MOSFET. But the 3D uh, TriGet uh, FinFET and TriGet devices have the fins. So there are some design challenges. Okay, so if we want to fabricate this fins from bottom to top level, which means height wise. So this is the height of the fin, right? So this height wise, if you want to fabricate the uh, fin, so there are lots of design complexities are there with a design, po design point of perspectives. Okay, so these are all, this is a cross-sectional view of planner and 3D front fit devices. Uh, then we'll see. So this is our fin fit uh, cross-sectional diagram. So I have taken a single fin. So Substrate wise there is no other uh, options so we cannot go for the other options so substrate is remain same it's a P substrate or N substrate though until getting the substrate fabrication the fabrication steps are same but the fabrication of this fin having lot of complexities the first complexity is so we need to form the fin so the kind of structure what they have shown here so we need to form the fin so this is our first design complexity and the design complexity is very difficult and conformal process. So second difficult is that the gate oxide. So where uh, we are saying this gate oxide, right? So this particular place inside the white color place. So this gate oxide. So the formation of this gate oxide in between the fins and the gate terminal. Okay, so in between the fins and gate terminal, so we need to form this gate dielectric material. So that is called gate oxide. So the fabrication of this gate oxide is also a kind of conformal process because a particular area, so we need to design with the 3D structure. It's like a, a wrapper with the three dimensionals, not only from the top side. If you want to deposit the dielectric material on top of the fins, because that's a very easiest process. So single, single plane, so we can put a mask and uh, we can add this dielectric material on top of it. Then what about the side area, which means the edges. So left and right edges also. So we need to deposit the gate oxide. So this is like a conformal process and it, this is very difficult to fabricate with the fin fits. Okay, this is the de second uh, uh, design complexity with the fin fit. And even though if you fabricated the fin with the kind of structure. So whatever we have discussed like the fabrication of fin is like very difficult to fab and then the fabrication of dielectric material uh, fabrication this is the formation of dielectric material the, which means gate oxide. So this is also a difficult process it's a conformal process uh, with the fin fit design but even though if the designers are fabricated this kind of structure 
so we are facing the new problem it's called uh, corner effect so corner effect in the sense right so we'll come to the figure b so this is like just a uh, internal cross-sectional view of the fins so this is our single fin so with this fin so we have a corners which is called edges so here uh, we have an edge and here we have a one more edge so we have two different edges with this corner so what uh, physics says uh, so device physics and the general physics says uh, if the constant potential in the surface so if there is any surface if there is a constant potential in that surface so at the active edges of the surface so this is the active edges of the surface so in this active edges of the surface the electrons will be migrated and then the electrons will get amplified with this area so compared to the area whatever the bottom side is there compared to this edges of this active area will be having the more electron migrations uh, so electro electric field intensities electric field intensity will be amplified in this particular edge of the area so that is the main reason for the corner effect so one by one one by one we'll discuss everything okay so now we understood right so edge of this area so edge of the area edge area of the fins so we are fee we are getting more electric field compared to the other areas so that is called generally that is called corner effects in the fins then here we have a graph so this is like id versus vg graph so what we have the red one is like a planar mosfet so when you applied the threshold voltage to the devices so the planar devices have a kind of uh, id characteristics and finfit device green color the finfit device is having them uh, the finfit device whatever it is shown in the green color this is having these kind of id characteristics so the sub threshold right so this is our sub threshold slope so in between this area so this is our sub threshold slope the sub threshold slope is slightly better than planar mosfet so that's why we are going for the finfit devices so finfit devices having the better uh, sub threshold slope so compared to the planar mosfet and there are other reasons also there for finfit uh, uh, the point of finfit fabrication views so sub threshold uh, slope is slightly increased so we are getting the better sub threshold voltage so okay much better electrostatic uh, field or electro electro electrostatic field in this particular sub threshold areas so when we have the kind of uh, fin effects right so so what is uh, so when we have a corner effects right so for example uh, we have a device a first device which is uh, turning on with this kind of uh, id characteristics so this is our first fin so edge of the fin first fin so edges of the fin will immediately turn on with i electric field when you apply some certain vg so the condition like we have applied certain vg so before reaching this uh, sorry so we are applying just some vt so we are applying some threshold voltage to the fin fit devices so what happened the edges of the device will get turn on very fast okay so will get turn on very fast and then the second uh, fin suppose if you have a multiple fins in this uh, uh, same planar mosfet a kind of fingers uh, multiple fingers or multiple fins the edges of the fins right so will get turn on very fast and the second fin will get turn on uh, with this different vg so so even though if you have a same device in the same uh, mass same planner so the single fin having the multiple vts so for example right so first here just will draw on fin so this is our fin so what we have discussed earlier so electric field intensity in this corner edges of the area so compared to these edges the corner places of the fin so wherever the corners are there so here the electric field intensity will be amplified higher value then compared to our edges which means the side walls so the side walls electric fields will be very lesser compared to the edges of the fins so what happened if the same uh, if the device having the single fin 
so particularly in this area right some vg will be there sorry some vt will be there so particularly in this area some different uh, vt will be there even though the same fins will face the different vt so which means the fins will get start conducting with the different voltage but the fins are same it's a single fin so it's not a multiple fin same single fins only so before reaching some vt the edges of the fins will start conducting then after applying vt the bottom side fins will start conducting later so these kind of problems we are facing with this corner effect so slightly the sub threshold slope right so what we are doing it's like a suppose if it is the same devices like uh, two three devices in a parallel with the same uh, planar device sorry if the, if the same area and the sub threshold slope is like slightly uh, degrading the performance of the device when you add these two slopes right so our sub threshold a uh, slope is performance of the sub threshold slope is getting going lower so how do we eliminate these fin problems so first right how to avoid this problem so we know just because of the corner area of the gate so having the problem so which means right so particularly in this place right so this is our corner place so in this area right so this is our act this is our corner so just because of the corner uh, just because of this corner we are facing the fin fit we are facing the corner effects in fin fit okay so then how to avoid this problem so there are different kind of fabricational point of view uh, so we can avoid this kind of corner effect the first way is like instead of keeping in the straight corner so we can design a kind of uh, structure so what we are seeing in the figure b so we are like slightly smoothening that corner effect from that uh, plan normal fence and then the second way is a kind of uh, tempered devices so what we are seeing in the design number c right so this is the one more design implementation so here instead of doing this uh, design of design b design so what we are fabricating here with this uh, it's a uh, kind of tapered devices so slightly we have improved the edges of this fin fit and the third option is like uh, having one more mask so silicon nitrate mask so this is like a nitrate mask so this nitrate mask if you add here so it is like a highly dielectric material or thick dielectric insulator so so here the conduction will not be there which means top of this area so here the conduction will not be there so and this type d structure is not a 3d fin fit structure because a uh, top area so we are not doing any conduction so there is there won't be any conduction with this top area so this is like 2d structure so like only left and right area only left and right areas are uh, getting conducted from the electric field so top side it's like completely isolated so then we we are not having any um, corner effect with this kind of structure but uh, so this kind of uh, structures like b and c so having some cons so having some disadvantages so the disadvantage in the sense like uh, so we know like um, the performance or vt of the device will be purely based on width and length of the device so what happened here so we are not following any uniform w here so just take a figure b so bottom side we have a different width and top on these edges top on this edges right so we have like different width so since the same fins having two different width so obviously our uh, vt formula will get vary and the device performance will get vary because uh, uh, lnw is related to the threshold voltage of any devices so same kind of problem here also we have like uh, so in the structure c so it's a taper uh, structure right so every a uh, certain point we have some different w values so so here it is like w1 so here it is like uh, w2 is there here it is like w0 so we have like multiple widths so we cannot calculate what is the exact vt for this kind of fin devices so obviously it's very difficult to calculate with those formulas uh, but so these are all the way to prevent corner effects uh, then 
the one more problem uh, with this type b right so there is something called a crystalline plane so when there is a fence and crystal so we will try to access the areas by having like uh, for example like this is our fence in our crystal so we will try to access the crystal with the patterns like 100 uh, then 110 or else like triple one so we have to access the plane so when we have to do this kind of b structure so particularly this b structure right some off axis areas are there so like in this area so it is like 100 so in this area we will try to access the device with 110 with the crystal so while accessing this area so particularly in this places right corner right so these places are like uh, it's like off axis so we cannot able to access these devices for a fabrication point or implementation point so we cannot access these devices with this kind of structure so even though it is applicable for 111 also so there are some crystalline plane problem and off axis off axis problems are there with this kind of structure formations same problem we have with the c structures also so say the same taper structure also having the off axis problem with the crystalline plane so fine finally right so this is like electric field intensities or electric fields how it is there with the edges of the active areas so for example the entire uh, the uh, fence right suppose we are applying some minimal vt to the devices so this is the minimal minimal vt we are applying to the devices so when it is in the off state so the edges right see uh, so it is very noticeable and remarkable changes with this edges so the edges the electric field the mobility of the electric fields are very high compared to this bottom area so in this bottom area right so there is no much electric uh, field mobilities are there but edge of the fins are like uh, very hyperactive and then like the rectangular form of the fins so this is like turbot fin so this is a rectangular form of fin so same problem we have so active edges so in this is like active edges right so these are active edges so in this active edges uh, the fins electric fields are very higher so because this is getting amplified in this area so that is we called as a corner effect so the bottom places right so this bottom places are not having much more electron mobility uh, so electric field is not there in this area so what happened so the bottom device will have a different vt and the th the top fins having the different vt same the bottom one more diagram which is in on state so on state condition the electrons are getting distributed through the corners of the fins so the red color one like this is the electrons electric field so the electric field uh, electric fields of the fins it is whenever the device is in on state so the electric fields are getting attracted uh, through the corners of the fin so this is getting like a, a different electron mobility with the corners so see particularly in this place right so we don't have much electric field so this is like normal but the corner of the fins right it is having the more electron mobility so this is like taper fin and the regular fins is also having the same kind of structure so this is our edges so compared to this edges uh, compared to this left and right side walls so see that edges so there are some very noticeable subthreshold slope so this is like subthreshold uh, ss means subthreshold uh, so subthreshold slopes are slightly increasing due to this electron mobility in this corner area so this is a primary problem with the uh, fin fit devices it's called a corner effect so the designers are doing different way to avoid the corner effect with the fin fit devices but uh, uh, uh this is the kind of problem what we are facing with the 3d mosfets or 3d finfets so later finfet device having multiple problems with the fabrication point of view so we'll discuss everything one by one in our following videos i hope i have given some valuable information to you in this video thank you for watching my video if you like this video please click like button and share this video to your friends for more details about this video please contact us to my email id and follow us on my facebook page and twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button